Hi, uh, so this is a tutorial about um, controlling uh, Pangolin Beyond from uh, ManMapper. So basically, you'll need to use Pangolin Beyond to control any uh, laser with an FB4 or FB3 DIC. Uh, you cannot directly control it from here like you could do with an Itadream, Shownet, or, or Helios, or some other DIC we support. Uh, so actually, if I uh, create a new laser project doing this and I switch to the laser output, uh, I have no destination selected and no options as destination. Uh, but if I start beyond, it will then appear as a destination. Okay, loading is long. Okay, so now that I have Beyond running in my mapper, I can select Pangolin Zone One, Zone One. Sorry, and uh, if I just drag and drop some visual content here and arm lasers, it will show up here. So it's actually running properly. And I have to choose here Pangolin Zone 1. If I choose Pangolin Zone 2, I will also see the output uh, because it's showing, it's mixing all uh, content from all zones here. But I can see that depending on which zone I create, it will send to a different zone of Pangolin Beyond. So if I go to Pangolin Beyond settings, projection zones, I actually have uh, 11 zones uh, set up and uh, those zones corresponds to the one I can select from ManMapper. ManMapper supports up to 32 zones so it could be controlling 32 uh, lasers uh, through Pangolin um, with different content. Um, so I can work uh, quite uh, normally in ManMapper when using Pangolin Beyond so if I output laser cursor um, and I can see my cursor in Pangolin. I, I, in fact, we can see here everything that will be on the laser device. So if in ManMapper laser cursor uh, I make it a bit smaller and a bit more visible, you can see that I can create a line surface. I can see my cursor on the laser device through the through Pangolin and and just draw stuff here and yep, up and animate my things like we do directly with uh, with another output. Um, so actually I have I have a quad here where I can do perspective to my to map uh, properly uh, some uh, surface in the space, so it's doing perspective transform. If I drag and drop this quad to a queue, and if I change the content being displayed on it, or I select a beam animation, beam patterns, then I can or shape patterns. Oops, I can drag and drop my quad here and in this queue I have all the settings of my surface including the media so if now I I enter the so edit MIDI controls I can create MIDI assignments or computer keyboard assignments and directly change the contents with my MIDI controller as well I could add um, a MIDI control here for the speed learn then I change fader value and now I can control the speed of my animation with a MIDI uh, fader okay so all you can do directly with another DAC you can do with Pangolin and you can control up to 32 laser projectors from Pangolin Beyond thanks for watching